always said I hate when it feels like You don't have time for me What is the deal, beautiful people? Hello there! What's good? My name is Ramon. Snow. And I am Tawan, aka the Kicks God. We back in the building. What are we talking about, man? This is a video we should not have had to make because Listen. of the lawlessness of humanity, uh, the unacceptability of, uh, of just privilege and 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 just like these these uppity folks out here, you know, they, with with their apps, they they fancy things like apps and God bless you, Snow. God bless you. This is a video we should have had to make. I feel like mainstream. I'm blaming Hollywood for this. I'm blaming the NBA, the NFL, the Apple, NHL. Android. Listen, schools, I'm, FIFA. I'm blaming everybody. I'm Megatron. Blaming everybody. I'm blaming. I'm blaming God for this one. I'm blaming the devil for this one. I'm blaming everyone. Everyone get it. Windows Phone did not have to die. Why? Say it ain't so. I should go pull out my 1520B. Yo, where's And my I found my 1020. Really? Yeah, Which is the best one, in my should. opinion. I, they're, they're in a draw it out. 1020, like icon, 1520. Listen, man. We had to, we had to get back. Uh, we had to eulogize... Uh, uh, the Windows phone properly, first and foremost, to get back on camera and let you guys know that yes, Windows phone. It has it officially died. No, uh, it, I think it's officially it has. Died now. Uh, Bell Fury, Joe Bell Fury came out and said something about uh, this man still have a job, yeah, he's yeah, still yeah. there. It, it wasn't, it wasn't a uh, something about like product and the life, but he just said like it didn't make sense to support it going forward. What the fuck is he talking? It means if you are a developer or you're a super user, you're the only person that can get just a little bit that's it for, for a little bit longer. But yeah, it's really much that's it. I mean, the market dried up. Listen, I mean, they kind of, in my opinion, they kind of killed their own market. I, I agree. How so? Well, they never really stuck with the plan. Which was? Okay, so you went from, we killed Windows Mobile way back when. Made into this Windows Phone, right? You killed it iPhone with, you killed, killed Windows, Windows Mobile. Eight. No, uh, 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 Microsoft uh, killed Windows Phone with eight. Didn't I matter. Windows on. Mobile was mm. terrible. I don't care what you guys say. Windows God. Mobile was terrible, right? But it was the best we had. Goddamn. Windows was. Phone came out. It was amazing. Made a believer out of me. Right. I jumped on Uber late, and I was like, okay. And then they tried to push desktop Windows on everybody with this continuum crap, and mm. change the name again, mm. right? And to me, that was like three face changes. I'm out. Second thing, second thing that also led to this is, in my opinion, they when they purchased Nokia instead of letting Nokia do what they do. Right. And when they bought them, they put the clamps on them, so they basically shut them up. Right. No new hardware was coming. You locked everybody else out. HTC got scared to put something out. Samsung was like, "Screw you guys, Galaxy, Android, everybody else died." Um, and you pretty much just starved your own market. The continuum thing, dope idea, terrible execution. Mm -hmm. Then didn't, didn't didn't allow it to to live to breathe the way that it should have. Which is Microsoft has a has a running running debt with doing stuff like dope hardware, dope features. Yeah, we tried this already. We tried it for two days. <laughs> We're doing something else. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, and then the almighty killer. If anything, R.I.P. WebOS <laughs> apps, 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 and it didn't matter what they did. I think the last iteration of this, then they do some kind of bubble like BlackBerry did, where they allowed you to sideload um, Android apps or something like that. Or they were talking there about it. There were a few it. iterations of it. Mm -hmm. So they were. There was you could sideload. Uh, no, it wasn't sideload. It was like wrapping. You it was wrapped wrap, in a you could, could wrap a container. A, uh, it's like a VMware APK? type thing, right? Yeah, emulation. You could wrap an APK, or you could wrap a, an iOS package app and deliver it as a Windows Phone. It would run emulation. And the later versions of it was they dropped the Android part of it, and they just baked it into the code where you can take the code from an iOS app 
and just translate it straight up into into Windows Windows code. So mm-hmm. basically, what you're saying is the witchcraft didn't work for Microsoft as well. No, no. I mean that that was a, that was that was a conversation we was having on the channel for like two years. Like, what else can they possibly try? I mean, the problems with Windows Phone went back as far as like uh, they had so many problems, like carrier problems, carrier mm-hmm. support. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when it was when it was fresh, when it was new. When the apps weren't a problem as yet, the the thing was you would walk into an AT and T store or a T Mobile store, and the Windows phones would be in the back. Right, right. And you you'd have to walk past three Apple stands, a, a, a LG stand, a Samsung stand because at that point Samsung wasn't like the big dog yet. Right. right. So LG was still hitting hard. Uh, who else was in that space? I think it was LG. Samsung was definitely there, but they didn't yeah. dominate the HTC? way they did. HTC, yes. Mm-hmm. HTC was the other one. So, but by the time you got to the back, it was like, what's this? No, nah, I'm good. And the HTC phones were, uh, that Windows sold, were in the back with the Windows phones. No, it, that's Windows Mobile. We're just talking Windows mm-hmm. phone day. Yeah. Oh, you, yes. Yes, yeah, you're, yes. Right. you're right, you're right, you're right. You're you know, right. even, even the, uh, what was it, the, the, the Samsung Windows device, we're all in the was, back. Yeah, oh, they were all, all in the back. back. Yeah. I remember that. And it was the same Galaxy phone. I forget what they used to call it. They didn't call it Galaxy. They called no, it something else. It was, yeah. yeah, it was the same hard. The, the Ative? Ative? Ative. 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 Yeah, it was, the same, it was the same hardware. Pound so, for pound. Um, and it ran, it ran better on it ran better Windows Phone. Because they Absolutely. had the better software. Yeah. Windows had the better software. Uh, I think you know, Windows had the better hardware. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. software. Yeah, it, was software. Software. it was better off than Android at that time. Because oh, right now, right. We, could, we could take a phone, we could take a low-end Android phone, get rid of it, put Windows on it, and it's going to run better yeah. than the high-end. True. That was, proven, that was proven on the Samsungs, and it was proven on the, uh, the LGs and the and HTCs. HTCs. Yep. But the Samsung one was... Especially crazy because I think this was around the S4 days or the S5 days, probably where we four. was having the, the whole all this crap. Yeah, it was a four. And, and, and it was one, like, yeah. yeah, remove that from the phone. That's fine. But then you remove Android from the phone and put the Windows on it, which becomes the AT. It's even better. Like that yeah. was that whole thing. Right, it was yeah. a lot. It was a lot going on there. So, um, well, I, I feel I feel like I feel like Microsoft allowed well the Windows Phone team. I don't want to all. I don't want to always fault Microsoft per se, uh, the Windows Phone team, because we all know that there are. Uh, we have Microsoft, and then you have subdivisions of the company, just like uh, Apple and what was it, uh, Macintosh, so on and so forth. Uh, I think they allowed. Uh, I think they allowed Apple and Android to get the jump on them uh, uh, with the people. Uh, Android, Android. Honestly, I think that what were you you talking gingerbread at the time? I, you would be anywhere uh, between, between gingerbread, gingerbread or ice cream, 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 cream ice even, ice. You can even was that uh, uh, Froyo too. You can even start at Froyo. You right. could start at Fro- Froyo. Was God, garbage. Oh my yeah. God. God. I mean, you. How I think did gingerbread you? was my first. Um, I think that's when I finally jumped over. So how how on earth? Did you allow an unstable um, platform? It, I mean, listen, we could talk semantics all day, but the fucking platform was unstable. So jump, leapfrog you, right? Leap, leapfrog because they had more devices. I don't think you know what I think it was, uh, and it wasn't interesting. I forgot where I read it. Uh, someone asked not uh, Satya Nadella what was the biggest regret of Microsoft in like the last 10 years or something like that. And he was, he was, he outright said something like to the effect of, uh, Steve Ballmer didn't jump on mobile like fast enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at that time, the Steve regime, the, bus. Bombed him. the regime was all about windows, mm-hmm. windows first. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's something that it's hard not to forgive because when you're a business, your money maker is what you push first all the time. Mm-hmm, right. And that, that used to be the ideology behind behind Microsoft and they recently shook it. It's about, oh, how do we, you, you, you want to make phones? Let's see how we can put Windows. Take Windows from the desktop and, and shoehorn it. it on a phone. Right. Oh, you want to make cars? 
Okay, let's see how we can take windows from the computer and shoehorn it in a car. And with that said, I still remember the first time, and it's so funny because I ended up with it with an Android phone. The first time I heard that Windows was gonna be on a phone, I was like, I'm not buying that. <laughs> right. And then my thing was right. like, I'm not about to have all these type of intrusions right. and stuff happening with my phone that I know that I, I fight off very well on my computer. And I don't mean viruses, I'm not yeah. talking that, but just certain little things that I was like, I'm not, cause I already knew where phones were going. I knew that at some point phones was gonna make a huge a huge dent on on laptops and just being connected to a physical computer meaning I don't have to wait till I get home to go do certain things and uh, on top of that I feel like uh, uh, the failure began way before Windows Phone I feel like they should have never let Windows Mobile die no I Windows thought, Mobile was Windows Mobile was literally Windows exactly and they, I, that should have to die. That had to go. I, 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 but you know what? You hear what I just said? Listen, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Before you, you, you try, you get that out. Windows Mobile was Windows, mm -hmm. and the transition of Windows to what it is now mm -hmm. would have carried over. I um, felt like it would have carried over. So you see, Windows it's Mobile. Tough. It's tough. Let's. Here's where. Here's where I. Technically speaking, here's where you, you, you get the, the confrontation there. The old Windows doesn't exist today. Right. So there's registries and all that crazy shit, but the whole start programs, uh, the, the whole thing about cascaded windows, right. and minimizing tasks and all that shit on a phone, mm -hmm. that shit only disappeared like the last like six, seven years. Mm -hmm. It would not, it, it, it didn't, it probably couldn't have uh, disappeared and then if you look at the desktop version of Windows, mm -hmm. they started to scale a lot of the ideologies back down toward mobile, meaning simplicity. Right. So I, I, I have a tough time saying that it would have carried over. Listen, not in the, in the sense of, okay, we're going to take everything. Here's Windows Mobile, right? Here's Windows, where it is now, mm -hmm. where we, the future of Windows. I guess you would say it started in 20... 2009, 2008, all right? So let's say the, the 2008, uh, uh, here we are Windows, here we are Windows Mobile. Listen, take Windows Mobile here. Listen, Windows Mobile, I people were fascinated with Windows Mobile, no matter how you slice it. Mm -hmm. It had its quirks, but yes, when you, when you step your hardware up, you step your software up. And Windows and Microsoft was the company to do just that. They stepped their hardware up to Windows to, let's say, uh, uh, 08, all right? They skipped 09. They, at that point in 08, Windows, Windows on a desktop platform was, was here. Mm -hmm. Listen, all right, you got this. We okay, we okay, we can be better. Now, let's take Windows Mobile and do what we did with desktops and do it to the phone. I don't think they had that time. Okay. iPhone hit the market. They don't have that time. Yeah, but I, so so what do you do? I, I mean, listen, remember why our conversation was always, listen, if you can't be the best number one, mm -hmm. then struggle and keep your place at number two. So they, that's what they, that's where they here's where Here's where I think they lost number two. When they, when when the iPhone came out, it was it was a joke. It, it wasn't was. a smartphone. Didn't have uh, apps, right? Apps wasn't even a fucking term. It wasn't even, right. you know. We were still under the Sprint Vision, which was AKA right. the actual smartphone stuff. Right. We had a we had an outdated version of smartphone. And Windows Phone had like hand to go. Where you get on yeah. there and you download like your aim and all of these crazy right. they were still called applications. Right. And Blackberry was still Yeah, the, Blackberry the market was whatever the fuck Blackberry was doing. Right. Now I think I think where they lost a Can huge, it be fair that we said that Blackberry probably was number one at that time. Probably oh eight, oh nine. Probably, yes. yes, probably. Number one, yeah. But the the thing about the thing about uh from my perspective how they lost it was they lost XDA developers. Because XDA developers came up on the heels, the back and the shoulders of Windows Phone. Mm -hmm. That entire community was about Windows Phone. Yep. And then when they when they just stopped, they turned it off, and Android just slid right in there. 
Hey, look what you can do. Because I remember I, I own I had the G1. Right, the yeah. G1, yeah. And for about I would say about a good six months after or like the G1 was fascinating because I would log into to, to XDA developers and it was every day there was a new thing you could do. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh shit, this shit's kinda like Windows Phone. Right. Yeah. Like we didn't quite get to the, the whole thing about Windows Phone like cooking ROMs and shit. Right. We didn't get there yet. But there was like a level of tweaking. And then that was like, all right, cool, but I'm going back to Windows Phone. Because you had the HD2 at the time. Remember the, the big Windows Phone, the big ass screen at yes. that time. People were like, what the fuck is that? Right. And it oh, started like, off Windows Mobile first. Yeah, it was yeah. Windows Mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like somewhere along along that line, they figured out how to like with the... The Sprint Evo, the HTC Evo. Yeah, the Evo. That's when like... They that, got it. That almost was my first phone. That's when they got in it. In that range. Yeah. That was when they rooted the phone mm -hmm. and they had ROMs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when the shit just like took off. Oh, nobody ever looked back since. The community never looked back since and no one else was checking for Windows Phone. And then when Windows Windows Mobile. Windows Mobile yes. Windows Mobile, right. But maybe we could argue they could have gotten back in. But when Windows Phone came to market. It was more iOS than anything else. Like, no, you're not touching it. Yeah. You're not rooting it. You're not tweaking it. No. Motherfuckers didn't want to hear that. The people who, who don't want to root their phones already own iPhones. iPhones. Right. Right. And it, was, jail, it was an uphill battle. And jailbreaking at this point and, in time is And dead. still, Blackberries. It's still important because we're talking about from 09, 08, 09. I'd say 2010, around when they dropped the playbook, is when Blackberry was in trouble. And from that point moving forward, they was in trouble. Okay. Because they had an audience that was already used to paying for apps. And their problem was they couldn't get apps. They could not get apps. Correct. And this and and round oh nine ten is when app crazy just got like the sensation for apps just really got out of yeah. control. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And everybody was like, "Well, I see that app on iPhone, but on Android we got like thirty of those apps, mm -hmm. and we could do what we want over here." And then that's when that battle come through, and then you hear like, "Oh, hey, BlackBerry, we got you know all this." <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, Yo, we got BBL. That's what I need. Yeah, and, and, and that and that was the last. That was, that was their last yeah. stand. We used to talk about it all the time. Like if you you would walk up to a girl, how you doing? <laughs> you know, my name's Miss Cheeks. My name's Renee. Nice to meet you. She would give you her BBM mm -hmm. before before, before she number. gave you her phone number. Yep. yep. Like legitimately. Yep. And if you ain't got that BBM, if you can't scan, if you can't scan, you can't you be nobody. Her man. Yeah. Can't be her man. Can't be at the club asking for phone numbers. Like, yeah. what you doing? You losing, like, baby. Like, yo, ma, can I get your phone? Can I get your number? It's a good she thing that, that you like. What? It's a good thing during that period of time I was in relationship because I ain't, I wasn't getting no Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't getting no Blackberry. Yeah, I tried. I, I tried and failed epically. So I, I kept a bowl on the hip, baby. <laughs> I kept a bowl yeah. on the I hip. I definitely no. I did have a bowl though. I had a bowl. You had a bowl. I the bowl was nice. I had a few bowls. The bowl yeah. was that the last of the the, of the, the ball of the ball, right? Yeah. The last of the ball, yeah. Uh -huh. I remember I seen somebody oh, ball man, pop I out. Love that shit. I remember I seen somebody ball pop out while we were in um what club was that? Oh, that's that's the disaster. shadows. I forget which one, but like, so I, I they just going through the phone. I'm like, look, I'm just judging. Like, look, all this in here, you want to be on the phone? Like, what are you doing? There's that's like, what started. The that's what started. <laughs> Yo, that's what started the phones at the uh, club. BBM. Everybody BBMing, everybody with their yeah. phone it was in their hand. Yeah, no, that it was Blackberry annoying. started that. I, I, why, I, I, at this point in time, I'm like, I'm not even sure why, but it was annoying. Fuck you, Blackberry. It was Blackberry. I, I really did love the ball though. A trackball, track ball. I like. Yes, cool. I like the trackball. Track and I like. You remember? You remember on the side some some of the Android phones, Windows phones used to have a scroll button. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes, like, yes. I can't, that the made wheel. going through, yeah, emails. Emails was the so best. So much, and it, you could click it in. Yeah, yep. with the click in. Oh, yeah. I, like, I don't understand why these phones don't have these things these days. Listen, like, man, oh my God. Their, their life was, they, they the same reason was, why they keep removing the headphone jacks. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, you, you yeah, know, I think you're absolutely right there. So, what? <laughs> I want to get into a few reasons why I feel like a lot of people literally missed out on Windows Phone and they missed out on a lot. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, there was a key, a, a few key features in there, like uh, the the ideology of the hubs. I love the hub. So like you had the messaging yes. hub. Yes. yes. And the idea behind the messaging hub was, okay, uh, any social network service or chat service, whatever you mm-hmm. connect to, you would go to this one place where you would see all of those messages in chronological uh, yeah. chronological yeah. order. Yeah. So you'd have your Skype. Your Facebook Messenger, your text messages, your AIM, your Twitter, your Twitter, all of that stuff was in one place. No Instagram, sorry. No RP Instagram. To AIM. Uh, AIM never made it over. RP to AIM though, it's about to die in like a couple days. I thought they did it. Is already. it? No, I think it's a few more days. Oh, okay. You get on there and download your chat history and marvel at it. <laughs> Put it work on AIM, son. Yeah, man. <laughs> Do they even, did they archive the uh, chat? No, they don't archive it, nothing. Aim, it's everything is there. No, nah, I don't think it's there. No, nah, that's, no. Nah, I was going on AIM. What, what was my AIM name? What was your AIM name? Uh, don't say that on the mic, sir. <laughs> I remember that. I, 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 I kill I remember that. Woo-wee. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So what, what was the other thing? The, you got the people hub, which I thought was up. And some, some the phones hub. The photos some, hub was classic. Some yeah. phones tried to make no. that happen, and they didn't do it. Blackberry, well. the mm-hmm. the later versions of Blackberry, mm-hmm. even happens? even BBM. Uh, I'm sorry, Blackberry Ten and mm-hmm. their OS mm-hmm. did an excellent job That's with that. Great. That's great. And even today, mm-hmm. you can go on Android on the Android Play Store and download the Blackberry messaging hub. Mm-hmm. It still does a good job of that. Mm-hmm. The only caveat there is you may find um, there's certain things you use that won't be integrated. Right. So like Kick or maybe like WhatsApp. Like yeah. it's very which, strange which like makes something sense. Nah, it makes right. sense. And they're going to be like pretty much fuck off. Same. You're not I don't want you. I don't Yeah, want, we're in my, the same lane. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. Right. Nah. And and it it breaks the experience ultimately because um if I'm going in this one place for like 60% of my, my communication right. and I got to keep jumping out to go back into something, it loses its luster. Yeah. Whereas what Microsoft did was they, they provided a low-level API yeah. in, the, in the operating system that everyone could use or should use. Everyone didn't use it. <laughs> but the Photos Hub was dope. Mm-hmm. The yeah. Photos Hub, you would see your Facebook images. Mm-hmm. Flickr, mm-hmm. Sky um, Drive at the time. Your OneDrive, your Sky Drive, all that shit will be there. And you can comment, you can comment, like, and it's like save and share. You can even share through the hub, like whatever, mm-hmm. from the Photos Hub. That was that was super dope too. Um, the People's Hub. I was just about to say. People Hub. The People's Hub was the biggest one for me. Because mm-hmm. you knew what, the, what was going on with any one particular person right. at any given time. And, uh, you know, Facebook, I don't feel like Facebook and other social medias was, is at, is where it was, it's where it is now back then, because more people I feel are more tied in to their social media platforms than then, more so now than then. However, the, the, the way it integrated Twitter, uh, you always knew whatever, if somebody was feeling, somebody up, up, Updated their their profile picture. Right. Well, you saw it. Yeah. Right there. And it flipped on the tile. And you wouldn't have to. Flipped. You would never have to open up the app. Nope. Because it's just already built right into the phone. And again, just to reiterate something, all this had damn near zero impact on the phone. Yeah. The yeah. operation on the was battery. So on the on the on the battery, it, it had almost no impact on the battery. The performance was still butter. I mean, you're talking at the end of the day, no charge playing music. No charging. 30, 40% left in, on, on my battery life. That's got to be another point of yours. Yeah. The I mean, notification and the music stuff. That shit versus was, Android versus that iOS. Was, that was, there was leagues apart from everyone else. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. But you know, the back to the people hub though, what I, I used to enjoy was the groups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I had like all my close people I had in a group and a tile. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when they update, it flips. Yeah. Cause you know you got you got like two, three, four hundred contacts, whatever you got. Yeah. So the phone, you know, it's constantly showing me who's doing what, but whatever. But the fact that it's your people, like it's what the you important care about, people, right, right? That was so strong. And then the the important part about how the social media stuff was outlined in today, everything's an algorithm. 
Yeah. I spent so much of my time trying to fight algorithms. On Windows Phone, it would show you updates in chronological order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was so important. Right. I didn't have to launch Facebook or Twitter. I don't care about Facebook and Twitter. Right. I care about what you said and when you said it. Right. And I had the ability to go in and just comment. Right. Like that was just, oh my God. And then you could like, you could message everyone at once from that group. Mm -hmm. You could start a whole group. They had rooms later yeah. that they had in a, like if all your people in that group had a Windows phone, it had its own chat room mm -hmm. that everyone would sort of jump in there and do what they got to do. Like. Mm -hmm. That was uh, crazy. What you know? What scary pen, for me was a biggest thing. Pen was dope. Mm -hmm. I remember you was like when you when you let me hold this phone. You was like, nah, just pin the, the group to the um yeah. to the thing. I was like, pin the group. What are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, pin I ain't even got it. I ain't even gotta go in there. I just hit this and I'm straight into the group and I'm out. I'm like, yeah, you ain't getting this phone back for a while. So. <laughs> <laughs> he still has it. Got it. Uh, <laughs> the scary, the scary thing that one of the scary things about that I felt uh, uh, transitioning from and away from Windows Phone to whatever devices we have now. When we all had Windows or Windows Phone, well, most of us, you had, Ramon had one, I had one, mm -hmm. Snow was using it. There was a few other people. So in those groups or in those rooms, uh, we we got our communication on. We ever, whatever mm -hmm. we had to talk about, we talked about whatever you had to say, everybody got that message. However, it was in a message style form. Now, we're using like WhatsApp. We I don't know what we use anymore. Well, the problem we're using group me. Group yeah, we, me. It's, it's whatever we can get everybody yeah. on. Because and Android still has this problem and it's an annoying problem. Right. It's like I think what's it comes you? in it comes in as like new message and then if you don't have your data on, this person's not gonna get the message. It's and exactly. then when it does open up it goes, Oh, so say if it's us three, right, and I send a message out, it's gonna say new message for everybody, right? And it's gonna have our names. But let's just say for whatever reason, because he's like Android, he took his data off. It's gonna say new message, it's gonna say that it came from me. And until you turn the data on, it's gonna just stay that way for just mm -hmm. a conversation between me and him. Yeah. When he turns it on, it's gonna then download the message but under my know. name and then it's gonna migrate it to the group. And it's just like, sign, y'all gotta fix that, bro. Yeah. It, it is still an issue. Still. So it's, it's just, oh man. One window. Shout out oh. to iOS for that. That's as far as I mean. I mean, iMessage is what it is. No, no, but they can still do that without using iMessage. Nah, I don't yeah. get finicky with that. That's a that's an MMS problem. That somebody needs to evolve to do something. It's an MMS problem it because really every is. time I get a message like that, it's always from someone with, a, with an iPhone starting that message, and I'm like, and I, I'll reach, I'll send them a message directly. Like, Yo, son, tell them turn off iMessage and see how that off fears. That. <laughs> how can you? How, how do you turn off iMessage? Just like, turn it off in the settings. Son, I've never seen yeah, in a text that. You'll, you'll do that to yourself right now. So yeah. He's showing up as a blue I'm... bubble and lose respect in this life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? The fuck you at that JD song? <laughs> Bitch. I mean, oh, yes, you can. My favorite fuck thing. out of here. You know, my favorite thing, and I'm actually kind of missing it on, on, the, on the Windows desktop experience, is these tiles, the live tiles. Dude, yeah. that was I think very when real. They, I think when they retired the live tiles, to me, that was just like. Son, what up? Why am I even here for now? Yeah, I agree. But they, like the whole at a glance, and that's something that I couldn't explain to people. No one got it. Like it had to be your shit on the phone. Like it has to be your mom, your wife, your husband calling for you to be like, mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. this is what it means. Like I turn the phone on, I see the message, and I'm out. I spent considerably less time using Windows phones than any other phone like operating it just on my phone. Yeah. Cause you get in and you get out. You know what I mean? Like now today you, you launch Instagram, you scroll, 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 you launch Facebook, you scroll. Man, that was all in one place for me. Everything yeah. was a scroll. And everything is a scroll. Respond, yeah. If you needed to respond to any one of those mediums, you simply tap the uh, uh, the, the box, start typing. And that's it. And that's it, and send and that's it. The keyboard? The keyboard was that, that the was keyboard? the best keyboard. If we're talking about that was the best actually keyboard. typing, yeah, I give Windows. Phone, I give Windows Phone a lot of props. I don't know. I, I'm, still I don't know. A, I'm still a swipe king. Yeah. But if we're talking like typing, or which my was fingers my come up off, yeah. yeah, no, I, Windows. I, I, I never the best. understood. I never understood why the keyboard on Windows Phone was so much better. To this day, 
Cause I turned on my 1520, I was just like, holy sh Even when we're, we're talking, uh, like when it was HTC had the same phone on Android or LG or Samsung, mm -hmm. the keyboard was so consistently better. Yeah, so. yeah. And the Google keyboard helped clean up a lot of that Android yes. I use garbage. Google keyboard. Yeah, that cleaned up a lot of that Android yeah. garbage. But it's still But still was nowhere near. Like I had, see I had a Samsung phone, I had an HTC phone, um, I had another manufacturer phone, I don't remember the manufacturer name. And then I used their home keyboards. And it was like, nah, I gotta come up off these. So yeah, this when the Google on. one, when the Coop, when the Google one came out, and I think you said, yo, try the Google one. And I was like, I, right. and I was like, yeah, it's better. But then I think I just got in the swipe, and I just the never swipe. looked back. Okay. And then the Google phone kind of added the Google keyboard added their swipe to yeah. it, and I was just like, okay, well now I just swipe. It don't even matter. Mm. But when I'm using these phones, one of my thing is like. Shit, I lost swipe. Yeah. So when I get into the typing, I'm like, oh, it's, it's really noticeable that the experience is good on the Windows mo on the Windows Phone. Mm -hmm. The iPhone, I don't take shots at it. No, it's good. It's solid. It, because I've seen people. I, I I'm on a train every morning. We live in New York City. If you don't know that, everything we do here is mass transit, right? Unless you have a specialty job, right? You mass transit. You see people early in the morning. They go into town. They go into town. Who the fuck are they talking to son, that early in the yeah, morning? Every day. Son, every day. So in the morning. It'd be I've been every on day. the train 6 30 in the morning, if not 6 15, and people are just going away. Going away. And sometimes it's emails. I do my case study on the train. Sometimes it's emails. But a lot of times it's a it's a it's a long message going to someone else because you you know that got the little green and the whatever mm -hmm. it is. and I'd be like damn son who I don't want to be on the other end of that technology. Now iOS I I think since the iPhone four is when the iOS keyboard started to get like really really good mm -hmm. because the thing about the iPhone four was it was oh it was smaller it was a smaller screen and everything else on the market mm -hmm. so you had to come from a bigger screen a bigger keyboard to use it yeah but it, it still worked. It still worked. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, um, I, Zoom? I, well, you know, uh, I think, well, first of all, I think Windows, Windows Phone, uh, we, our experience with Windows Phone was more music than Zoom. Uh, I think Zoom made Well, yeah, they had Windows. changed, they rebranded it at yeah, that point, but however, we always called it Zoom. Zoom. Sir Zoom. God damn it. Yeah, I know. And, and it's crazy to now see Spotify and Apple Music and all these motherfuckers come up off the backs of like subscription music. Like, what is, we had that for years. Right. right. And you know, you see uh, Groove Music just merged with yeah. Spotify, which, you know, Zoom. Which, Wait, which, did they, they do that? You sure they did yes, that? Yes, they did. That's, yes, that's uh, Windows. Uh, uh, Groove is Groove, Windows. Groove Music is now Spotify. They're like, they're this. I didn't so, know that. I did yeah. not see that. Uh, huge. Huge. Wow. Uh, Viva, Viva la Spotify. Yeah. So I, I use Spotify. Yes. I, it's just, you know what the problem is? I feel like, um, hmm. like, like title, and I'm not to get too far off topic, like title and Apple Music. And uh, listen, just, I was used to listening to my own music. Now I just create a, a, mm. a playlist off of music from here or there. Let's say Apple Music. That's my. I mean, I can use Spotify, but I, I default to Apple Music because I don't want to go to another music subscription to do the same fucking thing and listen to the same music that I can listen to on Apple Music. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I don't feel like going elsewhere to get what I have already available to me. And I think that's, I don't know, maybe that's uh, uh, something that they're trying to market to people. I feel like if there was a Spotify yeah, they're phone, trying to lock you in. Right. So didn't they try to do like a Spotify phone or something like that? Right. Mm -hmm. A Spotify like so like if Windows like, Phone, Facebook Phone, oh yeah, Facebook Phone, yeah. there you go, there you go. If 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 Windows Phone miraculously tomorrow they say, um, okay, Windows Phone is not dying. We're going to be Android. However, it will be Windows, and all of Windows features will be available. Yeah. On, and but it'll be an Android-powered device. Now you're running Spotify. Game on. Yeah. Game on. That's I'll take it. That's I'll take it. There's no reason that they can't they can't take all of the ideologies that they had on Windows Phone. 
mm-hmm. the tiles and all, and put it on Android. There's that's no reason. Simple. There's that's no reason. Tiles. That's just skin. I don't need the flashy. Just put. Just make it a fucking tile. Yeah. I I, I really. Man, you remember you said I used to set up. I used to pin groups. I used to set up groups. So what I would do is create a contact for like Engadget. Mm-hmm. And attach the Twitter account. I uh, create a contact for Gizmodo back when Gizmodo wasn't about fuckboy shit. <laughs> yeah. And I, you know, I put it in the the Twitter. Mm-hmm. I, I create a contact LD whatever, and then I would put all that in the group, and then pin it. So I had my own like RSS feed type right. shit going all on. Right, right. I just turn on my phone and look at that tile flip. Mm-hmm. There was something new. Right. And I just read the headline. Don't care. Phone off. I turn that phone on, no flip, phone off. And then eventually they started giving you notifications on your lock screen. So, yeah. I mean, it was, yeah. Well, my thing with the lock screen was, yeah, the notifications and then the basically the the, the wallpaper change based on your Facebook. The wallpaper move, change it was. based on, yeah, based on Facebook would change, yeah. based on that what you're listening too, to. It wasn't, that wasn't seamless though. The Facebook. I think it got wallpaper. better with Mango. It got better with time, but yeah. like, it yeah. still, it still didn't drag. You, you put, I, I think still today, you put something on your Android phone to do that, it's going to drain your battery. It's true. true. I, I just feel like, even though it wasn't perfect, like you, this one right here is pulling from mine. And you know it's not like it, it's gonna fit it in some kind of way, even yeah, if yeah. I like rotate it or then whatever. It was but I I like the idea that I could that it was there. It was yours, and yeah. it was right. mine. You know what I mean? So I would just run with it. And what I would have liked was a second option to like to to like scroll on. So if I unlock the phone, it will go to that image. Oh, gotcha. In case I wanted to get yeah. back into that image. I felt like uh, using the Facebook uh, unlock photo, photo unlock or Facebook photo on your lock screen mm. um the uh, uh, uh it really distorted the quality of the pictures that's why i never went with the Facebook. i one. i agree and because it was tough was it the was it the os doing it or was it people just using shitty quality i couldn't tell yeah, i felt I thought, like it was facebook I it was photos, photos. Facebook i thought it was yeah. facebook photos i could never yeah. tell which because one it, it was. even because what i did one day was i downloaded one of the images that popped up here to the phone yeah and i just looked at it in the phone and i was like I need to go find my original. So I found my original and I Bluetoothed it here and clearly it was from Facebook that messed it up. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, it, it was, I guess, maybe issues with the app. It just didn't play well and then uh, app developers wasn't really playing well with Microsoft and Windows Phone at the time. So it's only limited to what, like it's just still not, I don't even think there's Facebook I'm sorry, Instagram. Um, Instagram's there. Phone, use, it, yes, it's man. there. It's there. No, video video for Instagram exactly. isn't there. Is no, it? it's there. It's, it's, there. it's a full feature. It's app. a full feature. It's, app. Oh, yeah. whoa, yeah. whoa, how long did it, it take for all that? Yeah, that's it all the conversation. But yeah. at the same time, we were using six tag, so we didn't care. True. Six tag was so much better. Six so here was, here was another, another tragedy of Windows Phone. When Microsoft came out with the whole panoramic design for applications. Right. People like scoffed at it. Yeah. Now I feel like you, you had to, and it's, it's such a it's for a, it's a power user solution. Mm-hmm. Because this is something that not everyone would even care or understand. Like, I would purposefully ask people when I get into these conversations about well, what and what was that panoramic UI? That shit was stupid. I said, yeah. Show me right now the MAC address to your Bluetooth. <laughs> And I just watch motherfuckers like uh, I I I fumble. I, I don't know. I I don't know. I I want you to change the settings in your photo app right now. Android, what, which photo app? <laughs> Dudes on iOS. Uh, I can't. All I can see is photos. Then you don't get it. Right. 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 And I iOS was and it still is infamous for this. There's no settings in apps in iOS. You need to go into start, settings, and then you see the list of applications there, and then you go into Facebook, and then you, and then other apps, there are settings in the app. Mm-hmm. So what Microsoft is doing is saying, no, all apps on this platform should be developed this way so that for a user standpoint, when they launch Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, whatever, it doesn't matter. They know how to use this app. They know where to go for things. 
And people laughed at it, and they developers just totally ignored it, and it sucked. Right, and I, I, you know what's scary is I feel like developers never gave it a chance. No, and but why would they, right? right. Because you're you already mean, developing you, for Android and iOS. Who the right. fuck are you supposed to be that I gotta come and do your special shit? That's that's costs. A paying a paying a, a company. You know that's that's a good point. Microsoft for a while was paying developers to make apps, and they still wouldn't fucking make them. Like. They outwardly, there wasn't there a thing where developers outwardly said no to Microsoft. Yeah. Like, first that of all, that was a big conspiracy. Like it was Google that was making that was. Forcing I feel like I feel like Google was forcing that hand. I remember there was a, like little articles coming out here and there, and then little people on Twitter because you gotta love Twitter. Little people on Twitter would take their shot because we would. I would check up on check on developers mm -hmm. for everything, mm -hmm. games, everything, right? And they would just throw their little darts, and I go, hmm, that's gotta be a Microsoft thing right there because you couldn't couldn't pin it to the iOS app. Yeah. You couldn't pin it to the Android app. Right. Unless yep. they were talking about BlackBerry, which... But it was it was bigger than that, yeah. though. Because Microsoft was going after Google for Scroogle. Yeah. That whole Scroogle shit. Yeah. So, I mean, it was like, yo, know, you're picking fights. Then somebody, there's just casualties of war. Right. And I feel like Windows Phone was by and large a casualty of fucking war. Yeah, because, what well, we couldn't get nothing. You Google couldn't get, a, you couldn't right? get Gmail. You couldn't get a you fucking get YouTube, YouTube app. YouTube. Once YouTube got bought out, that was it. But... There was also the brilliance of Windows Phone because you saw the birth of a lot of these third-party apps like nice. Six Tag, mm -hmm. and I forget the name of the YouTube ones that I used to use. Six Snap, oh, Six Snap, Six Snap, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the other one? There was another um, one with a six on it. Six Six in. What's the one they for had Tinder? One for, they had one for they Tumblr. They had one for Tinder. They had one for Tumblr as well. Like these dudes, and a lot is crazy because now you see Instagram is thinking about coming out with a regram button. Yeah. That shit was on Windows Phone first. Right. Yep. Like for a year and a half. Yep. And it's crazy. And when when Google, I'm sorry, when Instagram, when Facebook bought Instagram and changed it to the algorithm, mm -hmm. Six Tag was like, nope. Chronological order, baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Such a huge deal. Uh, and then Six Second, which was Six Sec, which was Vine. Which, which R was the Vine. RIP to Vine. R.I.P. Vaughn. Man, it was uh, it's such a it's such a tragedy. Like, and it sucks that you can't get a number three. Yeah. There should be a number three. There should be a BlackBerry. There should be an Android. There should be a iOS, iOS, Android, Windows Phone. Like, there has to be a number three. Yeah. Like yeah. in today's world, number three is Samsung. What the fuck? Um, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, and that's that's such a a wild way of thinking. So here you have. IOS, IOS for all intents and purposes. I guess you can say it's a hardware and a software company. Sure. But one sure. in the scheme of things, one says, okay, here's this is Apple or or IOS. This is IOS, whatever. Here you have Android. You want an IOS or an Android? Okay, cool. I, I don't really want one, either one of those. All right. Samsung. <laughs> Sa so Samsung. Which is still Google. Right. So, mm. But in in the scheme of things, does Samsung uh, uh, create uh, operating systems? No. If they, I mean, they got that Tizen shit that they're just dying to unleash. I feel like I feel like Samsung might as well create a. I feel no, like they're gonna end up in a Windows Phone territory with that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel yeah. like they. I, I feel like in internally they probably was like kicking that idea around. They probably even have some prototypes running. No, it's it's around. It's been yeah. around. They even got some phones in our career with that shit on there. That phone that that last um, smartwatch that I got in there that's fucked up now. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's not Android wear. Oh, it's right. Tizen. It's Tizen, Tizen. Yeah. Right. My my first uh the, the operating system on my first Samsung TV is Tizen. They man, they just they just dying for any opportunity to unleash that bullshit. Right. The problem is yeah. not gonna work. It's just not happening. <laughs> no, it's not, not gonna, gonna work happen. at all. If Microsoft couldn't do it, fuck out of here, Samsung. I don't care how much share you got. Because that's that's the classic scenario, right? You got 99.9% .9 of desktop share. You can do whatever you fuck you want. Because you own 99.9% .9 of Android. You feel like you can just introduce them to this fucking... This thing with no apps. I, I, I don't know. So just ask the Amazon and Fire app. Yeah, Amazon, man. They're, they're, they're slowly working their way the into a Fire OS, game. yeah. I mean, so, it's a good thing that they make 30 to $50 tablets because right. 
and they got the fire TV, like, cause, yeah, cause my that's child, about to be that's about to be a real issue. Yeah, cause my child January. needs my child needs a tablet, <laughs> so, so I'll that, spend first fifty off, dollars for it. First off, I want to give one shout out to that fire tablet, bro. I need to show you this video, son, because mm. this dude basically was treating the tablet like a Nokia phone, and I mean, he was like throwing it on the ground, he got on the couch, threw it on the ground, and I don't mean like drop test, he did the drop test, but he was like legit throwing it on the ground. Son, it tablet was worked. fine, tablet mm. was fine, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's not like the Nokia. Nokia. Yeah. The Nokia guy, well, they back in the business now, but. Yeah, now I've seen actually the, that phone in person, I almost got it from my uncle. The six or the eight? I, uh, the six. I wanted to get him the eight, but the eight was out of. The I think that, that Moto is very comparable to that no that Nokia six. So yeah. I think the I think the Moto G four plus is what we're talking about. I think that I think that's better than. Uh, battery than wise, yeah, you get yeah, a little I bit think more it's battery. better. Than, I think it's better. But I'm Nokia, not sure about the camera though. Nokia spoke to my heart for yeah. so many years. Yeah, it's a solid phone. Solid, to me, Nokia solid. is what gave Windows Phone that. That, that it that, needed the that, personality, yeah. the flair, the the, the yeah, it was a differentiating factor. Right, what they call it? A candy bar or something like that? What was it what, called? The original designs? Yeah. That's no, 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 no. Good. What they what they called the um what they called the ones I had the, the nine twenty day twenty. What was uh, what was the bars, name? Huh? It was called candy bar, yeah. right? So no, like, that's not candy bar. But I thought they was like this. Candy this, bar. Is, this is a candy bar. Like even I no, think candy bar is is like an old school phone. Yeah, no, yeah, those, but the, were, the those format, were, yeah, those. The but the form, format they was calling it. It's candy the bar. form oh, was called a candy okay. bar. Okay. So I felt like like they did. shell, yeah, this Motorola. With the right, but then those were also considered candy yeah. bar in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. Well, any any a phone, flip phone that didn't have a flip was a candy was bar. Was a candy bar. Right. 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 I didn't think they were calling like smartphones with screens. But candy they, bar. It, it was specific ones that they would call candy. Wait, bar you talking about the old old Nokia's or these? The these. Oh, I, I don't know that. So you had these designs, right? And it was like everybody was. This is the clones. Was the cloning was starting to happen way back when? And then you got these phones that has these loud ass colors on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was using different, from my experience, it was using different materials. And it's mm -hmm. like, when everybody's getting all like, oh, yo, don't put it on the table. I don't want the back of my thing to get scratched. It's like, man, put this Nokia phone down. It's good. Yep. Still looks good. Still looks sexy. And you know what else I think Nokia really did for the whole, the reason why the, everybody's stomping on the, I, on the iPhone X and the V30. Shout out to the V30. They said, you know what? Fuck you, HTC, you making these phones. Fuck you, uh, Samsung, you making these phones. Our camera's about to kill everybody in the game. They did that shit multiple times. The video camera and the photos. I think that even goes back to the blue one, the A20, the cyan blue, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Our first color. videos on the channel. Was that? Was with that. Now, you may look at it and be like, oh, that's nothing. But if you go find comparable videos at that time, it's like these dudes shot this with a... With a, yeah. with, a, with, a, with a Windows phone. Yeah. And then it just kept getting better. The 920 was amazing. We have we have, we have have random moments using the 920 and random moments with the God one, which is the 1020, yeah. right? The 40 megapixel one with the big intrusion on the back, which still, I know it sounds bad, but wasn't that big of a deal, right? Because then you got things like the Nexus 4 or the 5 that it just slides right off the table if yeah. it vibrate. <laughs> so then it's like, these guys just took that to a whole another level and then they went further, the icon, right? Mm. The icon didn't beat the 1020 with photos, mm. but it killed the 1020 with video and audio as a yeah. combination. Yeah. You can go to concerts and record with that thing and it was just like having like a real camcorder. Actually, to a certain extent. The, you, you, there's a video on the channel, mm -hmm. search for Jay-Z on the channel mm -hmm. when I was at the Jay-Z concert. That is correct. And I recorded 25 fucking minutes. Right. Yeah. You remember that shit? Yeah. And I was zooming in, in and, and out, out yeah. in and out. Yeah. And you could hear the music like headphones. Right. Meanwhile, everybody else is, that was there recording, you can't hear a goddamn thing. You can't hear thing. nothing. Mm -hmm. the, the flagship phones at the time just could not compare. So I think, and then look at, look at today, everything is really, really, really about the camera, yeah. you know what I mean? I feel like back then, people were lying about what they were doing with the camera. I need to pull in tight with this, <laughs> right. So. Get a bit there. You see right there? Now, 
of course you might not be able to tell what quality this is or how it's shot or what have you and um device going from device to device to device and going from uh, uh, uploads downloads uploads downloads you get uh i find you get photo degradation like over time like this picture here mm. was shot with the, the nokia with the fifth not the 1520 it was the nine the nine nine ten nine thirty was yeah, it no, a, it was nine ten we didn't have the nine thirty the nine tw was it a nine twenty 920 is this one. That's that I had that phone in white. In white. That's yes. the one. That phone is this that's this picture is that phone. Right. In and, the Bahamas. And, and what I was saying was well, a lot of people for a very long time were cheating because they're taking photos, but it was the screen. Right. That yeah. was like, yeah, look at my phone, look what I just took. Yeah. Okay, you cool. Get the, you well, email let's get it on email it. Somebody, be like, or you get it right, and then it'd be like, this? ooh. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> what? And I felt like that was, was Android for a while. That was oh, for a long time. Android I mean? just couldn't. And, get I, and I felt picture. like Nokia really was like, look, this is yeah, we on the window for a platform, blah blah blah, whatever. But look, look at our phone, look at our devices, look at our cameras. And in, in a way, it's always some kind of like WebOS fell victim. Yeah. But they left a gift. If you may not know it, but they left a gift for everybody, and that's what Nokia did under the Windows umbrella. So. Son, yeah. this is color reproduction. It's remarkable. Yeah. So, I don't know. That was probably like one of my favorite things about the um Man. about the Windows Phone. My second thing, which I alluded to earlier, you didn't bite on it, was listening to music and not having notifications interrupt your music. So you know that's still an issue in my so life. It's today. a super issue and it's because I before I let your son calm down, relax, man, it's not a big deal. So a lot lately I went wild on Facebook. Yo, <laughs> you, so he, yo you went a whole tyrant about it about it. So like not even tyrant, you became a tyrant on fucking Facebook yes. behind that one day. But like son. as of late because of all the smart speaker stuff that's been going on and Bluetooth just and the third and I got a few that I'm I'm gonna do something for. Um I should have did a gift guide. I don't know why I didn't do it. But um, yo, I've been testing out these speakers mm -hmm. and my alerts are going off and I've been hearing them sign. And it's not after the alert goes off, you would think the music would come right back on. It takes like a second and a half, like if not two seconds. So you got the, the time of the alert, and my alert is like a fine, it makes a full noise, like -da 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 -da, and it fades out. And then from the fade out, it's now we gotta switch back over to the music and then now music play my music again. So I, and if you get that back to back to back to back, because I get Twitter alerts back to back to back like that sometimes, it's just like. So I used to find myself getting angry at people who text me back to back. <laughs> <laughs> because of that shit. Not with Windows. Like when I switched away from Windows, I was like, yo, my man, you can't write the whole shit in one fucking text message. Nah, it works, <laughs> because this shit like, son, like, don't pause my music. Right. Don't fucking pause right. my music. Right. Like, how hard is this? Son, mm -hmm. all Android phones do it. Mm -hmm. all Windows phone. Do, I mean, um, I, yo, iOS. Does iOS it. does it. Like, don't pause. And the worst, the worst is there's nothing worse than when. You're in, I'm feeling myself mode. And I'm in my fucking car. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm dead to the world. Mm -hmm. It's just me, the road, and my music. Mm -hmm. And I gotta hear some fucking da -da 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 coming through my car speaker. My car speaker's loud as fuck. Everybody looking at me like, oh! <laughs> oh no, he just he got the a whole message. game. <laughs> I'm out here trying to sing a song I don't know the lyrics to, so right. they got me bubbling. <laughs> like, damn, son, they fucked my whole game up. You know, that shit is so annoying. But that is, even my girl sometimes, she'll, she'll just be like, yeah, I miss Windows Phone. There's things about it. Shout out to Takara as well, because I know she missed Windows Phone. Oh, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. Damn, son. Yeah, she's going through I it. recommended a 950 for her. That shit just was not working. Yeah, I know. She caught, like, every single issue that phone had. Which wasn't fair. <sighs> But there's there's things about Windows Phone the way it made your life easier mm -hmm. that just has not rep been replicated on either phone. I know both Android and uh, iOS because I use both, mm -hmm. and it's just like it's it was never the same. Terrence still uses a Windows Phone. No, nah, Terrence he has he has an Android now. Oh, I, that's I have a, a ex coworker of mine. I think she just got rid of her her phone. Candace phone. just got rid of hers like two months ago. Really? Yeah, she got the she got the S eight. Just like two wow. months ago, she had a 950 for the longest. Yeah, 
and her 950 had zero problems that our friends cursed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I feel her. bad, man. She she got like every issue that phone had. Like, mm-hmm. damn. What was, what was her issues though? Nah, it, uh, it was that every. You know was, how the battery you know how, would suck. Yeah, you know how it would reboot. You know how like there's a percent. What's the percent range for for hardware that uh, will be like come out? Like four percent, five percent, whatever it was. She caught that percent. And it of that wild. percent, she caught a hundred percent of what could happen, what could go wrong. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I felt bad for her. It really wasn't a bad phone, man. But listen, she went and got an iPhone. You know, fuck. What else can I tell you? And she's, yep, she's in love now. I, I, I don't, don't know if she's in love, love but, but the shit works. It, it works. That's the know? difference. But it's, it's, we could probably get her in a Huawei phone, fake mm-hmm. iPhone. It's it's tough. I mean, there's things about it that you just miss, and I feel like. Uh, if you go from Android to iOS, you experience less of that because the two are so similar yeah. in what they do and how they do it. But there's a, a lot about Windows Phone I, I just never got again. Like, I never got a tile type thing Mm-mm. at a glance. Never got that I, I again. I don't think that's ever going to happen again, bro. Son, do you know my struggle to sync people's fucking contact pictures? Mm. Tell me how to sync that real quick. Through Facebook? Uh, nope. I couldn't tell you at all. Nope. I had, to, I had to hunt for some 99 cent app that does it. It's a sketchy app and it does it some of the time. Some of the time it doesn't. Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So and this is usually something that, first of all, was built into Windows Phone. But even right. before Windows Phone, Windows Mobile, you remember HTC? Mm-hmm. When they had the, uh, what was the name of the UI? HTC's UI had all Sense. of that. Sense. Mm-hmm. The first versions of Sense on the I HTC Diamond it. and all of that. That was that was big features. All that, all your contacts yeah. was all. You know mine's, what I mean? It, it, mine's the uh, M9. It does it right. Yeah. Earlier versions of Android. Like okay. I can't figure out like why now. Like I just can't get this shit done. So yeah. what are you what are you saying? Like you're trying to sync contacts to their specific pictures. Right. So for instance, in my phone, if I go to Taiwan, I just have the letter T and G for your last name. There's no, no contact not. picture. Yeah, the only thing I do is assign it. Once I assign it, where do you assign it from? Google. Uh, no, Google. You let Google handle that. So once you assign, <laughs> well, I guess. And the reason we started Lifestyles to find is because uh, if we weren't on camera arguing about these things, the technologies, the phones, the iPhones, the Androids, the cameras, the games, we'd be on the phone arguing about it. <laughs> we'd be in each other's houses arguing about it. So why not just? put it in front of a camera for everyone to enjoy it the way we do that's what lifestyles the finest whole about we just love